and thank you for clicking on my video. I'm Jonathan from Catspit Productions and many of you may know me from my educational screen printing videos. Well today I wanted to let you know that I sell Ranar equipment. I am an authorized dealer for Ranar equipment and accessories and I sell the complete line of Ranar screen printing presses, exposure units, belt ovens, dryers, flash cures, kits, packages, and the whole nine yards, okay? And now I'm bumping into this. This is what I wanted to tell you about is I made three specific cat spit kits featuring Ranar equipment. And what we did was is we painted them cat spit colors so that they would be, you know, the kits would be distinguished from the others. Okay, and you can find these kits on my website if you go to the equipment sales tab or the equipment sales page on my website you can click the cat spit kits and see the three different kits i have the alley cat i have the tom cat and i have the lap cat okay and there's three three different kits the lowest of the kits is the alley cat okay and it features this press right here this one color one station press and it features the very basic exposure unit which is a work lamp with a nice little stand and I'm gonna show you what I like about these things okay and then the Tomcat and the Lapcat um, have the Tomcat has a two color one station press and the Lapcat has a four color two station press but both of those kits contain a uh, tabletop industrial fluorescent lamp exposure unit. So only my very basic kit uh, has this particular exposure unit in it. Okay, and what I wanted to say was that the kits, I designed the kits myself, meaning I picked out the press, I picked out the, all the equipment you're getting with it, I picked out the squeegees, the screens, everything in the kit I picked out so that you would have the proper tools and the proper uh, accoutrements to work with your press and to work with a one color scenario or a two color scenario or a four color scenario. So my kits are not based on rock bottom pricing, which many kits today are based on you know the bottom line. All right, so what I mean by that is my kits weren't designed so that they're cheap and so that they're the least costly, okay? My cheapest kit or my smallest kit starts at almost, it's almost $1,200, okay? And again, you can check my website for those, for the pricing. But I do offer free shipping anywhere in the continental United States, okay? And there's no crating charges on the bench presses and stuff. So basically, it's just the list price that you see on my website uh, shipped anywhere in the continental United States, okay? And you know, I just want to make it clear that, again, the kits are not based on rock bottom pricing. They're based on giving you the right tools and the right accoutrements to do the job. Okay, and uh, it's really important to note that many kits today that sell for less than $500, um, you know, really don't give you a fair shot at screen printing because the kit is designed and engineered to sell at $500 or less or a $200 kit. You know what I'm saying? You're just not going to get a whole lot for $200. And, you know, it may be fine for hobbyist work if you if you want to print, you know, a couple times a year, that may be fine. But if you're looking to be serious about screen printing in any way, then I encourage you to take a look at my cat spit kits because they're really serious kits. They're going to get you started with the right tools, the right supplies, and the press, the bench presses from Ranar are just awesome. So let's take a look at that. I want to point out how this press, this bench press will outlast any other press that's on the market. These, these other bench presses that sell for a couple hundred dollars or less, you know, this press here will be worth just as much as the day you bought it 10 years from now. In other words, I don't know if that makes sense. In other words, the, the resale value on this press should hold because the thing is, is so heavy duty, it's not, nothing's gonna break, nothing's gonna wear. Let's take a look at why that is. Let's take a look, a look at the construction of this press. Why I get so emotional and, and into it when I start talking about this press because this, this is a press that's gonna last you and perform for you and not give you any troubles. This press is heavily made. Let's take a look. Okay, so, I mean, check it out. Look at the thickness of the steel that this is made out of. And I repeat, that's steel, not aluminum, that's steel, okay? And 
it, it's quite heavy. Look at the hinge that this press hinges on. Okay, that's no joke right there. All right, look at the look at the base of the compression spring. How it how it's how it's connected to the base of the press. Okay, heavy duty stuff. All right, this press is heavily made. Okay, let's take a look up at the print head, the back of the print head and the compression spring. Okay, so check it out. There you go. You've got, you can see one side of the uh, clamp that holds the print head and it has off contact settings. All right, it has a little bit of a screen angle. It has the screen angle settings. So you have both off contact and screen angle settings on this press. There is no micro reg, but you have uh, what we call poor man's micro reg. I'll show you that as well. But here again, you can see the connecting area where the compression spring is. And uh, I'd like to note that the compression spring is probably, you know, one of the things that I really, really like about it. It's much different than an expansion spring or a gas shock, and it will last forever. It will outlast either of those two. This compression spring will perform way better than an expansion spring or a gas shock any day. You'll never have to replace the spring. Let's take a little bit look at that there. A little bit of a little bit of a little look at that there. All right, so check it out. You see what I'm talking about? This is a compression spring. So as we put pressure down on the head to put it in the indexing position to print, the spring compresses. Okay, this little bolt here can be used to raise or lower the head. You just lift it up and thread it around and the head will stay higher. I apologize, I'm holding my mic with the other hand. I, I was lazy and didn't want to set up the stand for it. <laughs> so, okay, so you see that, right? So that's really easy. Look, I could do it with one hand and adjust my compression spring and um, that's it. It's just, you know, that little spring will never, you'll never have to replace that ever. I guarantee that. If, if that's something on that wears out, I'll pay for it and replace it myself. Okay, that's how um, sure I am of this thing, all right? So let's look at this a little bit more. All right, so like I said, none of, none of the cat spit kits with the bench presses will have micro registration. The bench presses just don't have micro registration. But you do, again, like I said, you have your off contact over here, off contact, right? Then these two bolts, there's two bolts here. I'll give you a shot of that again, the, uh, a side shot. That's a screen angle. You can adjust the screen angle, the head, okay? And then over here on the two corners, you have what we call poor man's registry, micro registration, which can tweak the screen a little bit as you ease up on pressure on the clamp. So, um, you know, it's, but again, for a one color situation, you don't need micro reg, but I'm just pointing that out on, on the other two kits where we have a two color and a four color, there is no micro reg. There's only the poor man's micro reg. And, um, you know, that should be sufficient enough to get you started with basic spot color jobs, you know? All right, so here's a cl another close up shot. Again, listen, I mean, come on, look at it. Look at the heavy steel. Look at the thick pieces of steel we're using here. This press is heavily made. It's American steel. Um, you know, it's no joke here. Look at the welds that hold the things in. You can see that. You can see it's it's heavily heavily made. Okay, so here's the screen angle adjustments. Here's the pivot bolt. Here's the one you loosen, and you can see there's a little bit of a hole. You can see I have it tilted one way or the other, evidently. All right, there's the one off contact. Here's your little poor man's micro reg. And uh, that's about it. You know, it's pretty cool stuff. I'm really excited about having the Cat Spit kits, and um, I encourage you to check them out on my website. Okay, so it's really cool. I'm really excited to have the Cat Spit kits featuring Ranar equipment. Um, these kits were designed by me, but they feature the Ranar equipment. It's painted in Cat Spit colors, so it's very cool. But all the accoutrements, all the specifics, the details, the, the squeegees, the screens, the ink, emulsion, chemicals, everything you get, I picked out myself personally to go with this. Like for instance, the palette on this press is a 16 by 18. Normally it comes with a smaller palette. The one you buy from Ranar comes with a smaller palette. But I've upgraded this one to the bigger palette because I know many of you are gonna wanna do larger prints. So come standard with a larger palette. And some of my kits come with extra palettes, different palettes, so you can do sleeves, you can do pockets, you can do sweatpants, stuff like that, okay? And um, it's just really cool. Remember that when you do business with me, it also helps the continued production of free educational material on screen printing on uh, my website and 
of course, the videos on YouTube. So anytime you do business with me, not only are you just making a, a, an equipment purchase, and not only you know do we uh, make a little bit of money from making the equipment sales, but that helps me help you. It helps me keep going. You know, if I can't earn some money doing this, then ultimately I can't keep producing the same amount of free information, right? I have to do something that earns money. So. I, I want you to know that when you do business with me and you buy kits and stuff like that, it really means a lot to me. It, you know, I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me and it helps me keep doing what I'm doing free right on YouTube. So let's just take a quick look at the basic exposure unit. This is just a really simple exposure unit. It's a work lamp. We take the glass out. My kits should come to you without the glass. You should not get the glass. If you get the glass, you're going to take it out. I can't get it out all of a sudden. You got to take the glass out. This is actually a UV filter. You can take this piece of glass out and use it over in the ink mixing table and mix inks on it if you wanted to. But you should, my kits actually should come without that. I don't want to include that in there because you really don't need it. Okay, so, but you might get it. <laughs> so if you do, just take it off. Okay, and then it's a basic exposure unit. It's a bare bulb under here, okay? And you got a little bit of adjustment here, up and down, and then you have an adjustment this way as well. Okay, and it's a basic unit. Okay, so if you guys have any questions about equipment sales at all, if you're interested in cat spit kits, or you're interested in regular Ranar kits, or just presses, by themselves or dryers by themselves, flash cures by themselves. I can help you all with that stuff. I sell the complete line of Ranar equipment. Don't forget that, please. Anytime you do business with me, it's not just somebody making money from your sales. You're actually helping support me to continue to do what I do online for free for everyone. So, you know, your, your purchase is kind of a dual thing. It helps you get some good equipment. I sell you some good stuff because I don't sell garbage. And it helps keep the videos coming at you free right on YouTube, all right? And I, and I really appreciate it, okay? I'm not a big giant juggernaut of a corporation. So when you do business with me, it's, you know, it, it really does mean a lot to me and I thank you. All right, so that's it. I probably went on too long about this stuff already. So please check out my website, check out the equipment sales page and look at the cat spit kits. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Rate thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.